are welcome to Happy Hour topic today. And we have some special guests here that we want to introduce. So Intuit Accountants is sponsoring the episode and they are also going to be sharing with us some really awesome updates to um, some of our ways that are gonna affect our firm's connectivity to apps. So I am Liz Scott. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself first. I have a firm in Oklahoma and we focus on small business um, everything that's related to QuickBox. So a lot of our clients are e-commerce clients and they utilize a lot of apps, which means that um, that's an area that I specialize and it's perfect for my, my interest because I love all those apps. And Heather, that's one of the things that we actually enjoy together. So you want to introduce yourself? We do enjoy that together. So I'm Heather Satterley. I am in Rhode Island. It was a beautiful weekend. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous weekend. Lots of seafood. Um, and my firm focuses on helping uh, small businesses and actually other accounting professionals streamline their, their internal processes. So um, I'm all about the apps. Uh, and I love finding ways to, for people to work less. <laughs> and enjoy life more. So that's kind of my goal. Um, I also have a bookkeeping and tax firm called Back Office Ally, where we actually do bookkeeping and tax. Um, so that's something that I enjoy doing as well. And I'll be telling you guys a little bit more about that business of mine a little bit later. So excited about that. I, I, I know it's coming, so I'm excited too. So <laughs> We want to say thank you to our champagne level sponsorship. So Right Networks has been the Happy Hours 2020 champagne level sponsorship. Most of us are very familiar with Right Networks. They are the leading hoster of QuickBooks desktop and the cloud. And so that way you're able to work remotely and share access to the same QuickBooks file for those clients that are still using desktop. So perfect for construction clients that I still have some of those that I work with. And so desktop is the perfect location for them. And then we also want to say thank you to Intuit Accountants. So earn more in less time with less manual work. That's what this episode is all about. Totally, 100%. So, integrations and making sure that we have really great streamlined processes. So Brady, would you like to introduce yourself? Because we're thrilled that you're here and we'd love everybody to get to know you. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having us. So my name is Brady Suggs. I'm a group product manager at Intuit. Um, I like to create software to help you save time um, and have more fun. So I've been doing that for over 15 years. I've done it over many different industries, financial, healthcare, energy, uh, but over the past almost 10 years, I've been working with Intuit, uh, with, uh, specifically for accountants. So I've learned a lot about the accountant um, industry. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, I have one kid. Uh, I love football. Hopefully, we'll have a season this year. And as you hear me talk today and I get excited, my southern accent comes out some. So I apologize for that. Um, hopefully, it won't be distracting. Hmm. That kind of works for our drink today. Southern yep, accent with our drink that's coming up. That's true. Hmm. So let's see. Let's also, we hit my little handy dandy button. There it is. Jeremy, we'd love to also introduce you. Do you want to share some, some things about you? Yeah, I'm uh, Jeremy Herbal. I'm a product manager at Intuit. Um, I've spent my entire career working with accounting software, and so I've been with Intuit a bit over a year now, specifically working on uh, kind of partnerships with um, Intuit and kind of what we're going to look at a bit more today. And I actually, I made a joke the other day that I've spent 16 years working in accounting software, and I still manage to have friends in social life. So uh -huh. it's... Um, <laughs> It's, a, it's something I just enjoy, though, and it, it's one of those things that it, it's not always the, the most exciting sounding, but you get to do a lot of really good things and help a lot of people. And, you know, I really enjoy what Intuit's doing because we're getting to help the people who help other people, and that is really important to me. Um, so I, I really enjoy doing that. Uh, I live in Dallas, um, wife and two cats. I'm not from Texas, but I consider myself a Texan. So wife and two cats. So I imagine your little furry friends have names. They do. We have a, a Loki and a Morgan. <laughs> Loki. 
and Morgan, those are like, <laughs> came from um, very different backgrounds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very diverse in that family. I'm also going to share that we have Leslie here in the background. So if you've got questions, we've got lots of support chat here today. And so if you see Leslie responding to you and your questions, she is here as part of the Intuit accountant team as well. She's just doing some of the Q&A. So we want to thank her for joining us. How do you want to go over our agenda for today? I sure do. Well, we've gotten the welcoming out of the way. Welcome, everyone in case you missed it. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about ditching the duct tape today. So we're going to talk about, first of all, what does that mean? And um, we're also going to talk about how our industry is kind of moving in that direction. They're going to have a, a, a Q&A with our Intuit accountant guests today. And then we're going to raise our toast. And then we're going to get an awesome demo of the Intuit practice management app that is powered by Carbon. Then we're going to show you something really cool. And then we're going to have a preview of our next episode. How'd I do Liz? Fantastic. Thanks. <laughs> Which means that we can come over here when you start talking about, what do you mean ditch in the duct tape? So this is going to be so much fun. Do you want it to is. share what we're talking about whenever we say ditch the duct tape? Absolutely. So when we're talking about deck tape, you know, um, since cloud accounting and, you know, cloud applications have become really popular, um, we've had this whole wave of open APIs, right? Where we're using cloud-based software, we're able to have them talk to each other, but we have a lot of different apps that we're connecting to each other in order to complete all our workflows. And so in some cases, these apps don't talk directly to each other or they send some of the data, but it's not super seamless. And so we end up using um, apps like Zapier, um, or you know, Transaction Pro, or apps that are basically moving data from one application to the other. And so we're saying that's kind of like duct taping, <laughs> using duct tape to piece our whole ecosystem together. And while that's possible and it's really cool and I feel a lot of the time like I have a magic wand and I'm able to actually create this perfect accounting system uh, or internal my business system, it's not just accounting, business systems for my practice that are really tailored to me, Whenever you're using duct tape, eventually you're gonna end up with some leaks, right? And you're gonna end up with some, some cleanup that you need to do because duct tape, as awesome as it is, um, is not really the ideal solution, right? We want, we want an ecosystem that's really cohesive, really works well, and is kind of leak -proof, proof, right? I think you nailed it, like nailed it. Thanks. So, I <laughs> Looking at our next slide, oh my gosh, Heather and I had so much fun putting this together because this is exactly what we end up feeling like. <laughs> yep. This is it, right? It's like, okay, we want this thing to talk to this other thing, and how do we do it? We piece it together. We do. And I mean, all of these apps listed are amazing apps. They're best in class of what they do, and they all work really, really well together. But what we're seeing and what we're going to talk about on the next slide is the evolution of our industry and we're still on a path. Um, and so Doug Sleater, which we all know and love Doug Sleater, he's brilliant. He's one of the most brilliant accounting technologists um, that I personally know. Well, he talked a lot about the era of chunkification, which started way back in you know the, the early 2000s, right? And this was where um, we were trying to get an all-in-one solu solution where we could um, you know, we had very complex systems that were on mainframe computers. They were very expensive to, uh, to maintain. They were wrought with, uh, you know, with, um, um, with issues when, you know, one app would actually need to be updated. It would break the other app. And by it then we were, we were talking. It was, it was, absolutely. So what happened was um, we talked about chunkifying. He talked about chunkifying. Um, our apps and basically finding apps that uh, were best in class that would do a really, really great job of um, taking care of one particular business process. Mm -hmm. And what you would do is you would find different apps that would basically do the best job um, for that particular business uh, situation. And uh, where are you going, Liz, with your... Well, I was trying to show everybody where they could download those slides, but it just, um, it ended up taking me to a, a, a screen oh, I wasn't okay. ready to share, so. <laughs> okay. But 
Um, I'm going to throw this in chat here in a second. So that way you can go over and get Doug's slides because he actually does a really nice job of talking through this entire thing. And he wanted to let yes. everybody know that they could go download those. Fantastic. Yeah. Because yep. he talks about this exact same thing. So those digital leaks is all of the data that's falling through and may not get carried over. We want it to get carried over and mapped over, but sometimes some of those just don't have the flexibility between the two apps to get mapped properly. So. Right. And, you know, we also hear a lot about app fatigue, right? Where there's so, you know, our, you know, the, the market is so flooded with so many different apps that it's very time consuming to, to make a choice to find the right one for the right business solution. And so we end up, you know, spending so much time trying to find the right job or the right app for the right job, right? Um, that it just, it ends up costing us a lot of time and money. So. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And so this is now the era of de chunkification. Right. So what we saw was that the accounting systems kind of got blown out and we had all these great solutions and we were piecing them all together with our duct tape and making the integrations work where we could. Well, now what we're starting to see is we're starting to see the different partners and apps working together to be build really, really solid ecosystems and it's starting to de-chunkify where we actually are getting a lot more cohesion and uh, more, you know, uh, less leaking, right, Liz? And, yeah. um, and better data integrity. And so that is exactly why today we have our special guest because they want to show us what Intuit has done to help solve for the leakage. So this is going to be really, really fun. So we're talking about now de -chunkification. So bringing it all in, making it a cohesive environment. So we're saying gone is the idea of just having the accounting solution with all of these pieced together apps. Now we're talking about let's make a business solution. And that business solution means that we have reporting, we have bill pay, we have all of these different things that are all brought together. And that's because people are listening to us and they're working really hard to make those connections, to do the mapping, to make it exactly how we want it. And so we're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna do, let's ask. So with our special guest here, we thought, let's just do a Q and A. So, you know, so starting with that, we're gonna put Jeremy and Brady on the spot here. So here we go. So, you know, when we met before this episode, Brady and Jeremy, you guys were talking about how Intuit has embraced this better together philosophy, right? And we actually, a couple of years ago at QuickBooks Connect, we all got those really cool bracelets and the word was together, right? Um, and so can you talk, you know, why is Intuit focused on this better together philosophy? Well, we can solve more jobs for our customers, obviously, but we can do it faster and, and better. So us working together um, obviously creates a better solution, creates more efficiencies, and it just accelerates um, where we want us, our customers to be in the future. So um, we've been really excited for the tax side. We're behind QuickBooks. We have been. We're actually caught up now with this platform capability, capabilities we'll show in a minute. But just being able to solve these jobs that you guys need um, and not trying to have to build everything, uh, but using best-in-class partners to solve them, but solve them better together. I love that. And so that you just said why you're excited, but is there anything else that you want to share about what's exciting about this better well, together philosophy? Well, uh, I guess um, for us, it, leveraging these partners actually frees us up to focus on the platform and our core offerings like tax and books, um, QuickBooks. So um, for us, it, it, it gives us the ability to make this platform better for everyone and lets the partner focus in on those jobs and solving those sol jobs better. So um, it, it frees up our engineers, it frees up our designers, our PMs, uh, all the groups to focus on the platform and our core capabilities and then the partner uh, can focus on solving the jobs that we're not solving um, well. And so it, it pr provides focus for us um, and then gives us flexibility on what we can provide to our customers. And, you know, I'm going to ask a follow-up question to why is Intuit focused on this? You know, some people are very familiar with Intuit practice management, but some people may not be. Do you want to expand on what exactly that group does and what the focus is there? Yeah, so we've tried to launch a practice management a few times. We've, we've worked on building some decent solutions, but um, it's really not our core competency. I mean, we're, we're about tax and bookkeeping and payroll. 
We know that very well. It's not that we can build it. Um, and the reason we started with uh, intuitive practice management is we think that's our cornerstone to bring all of this together because it manages all your work. And so everything should tie into it. So that was why we focused on intuitive practice management to begin with. That's great. That gives a little bit of, of foundation. And so how do you see this evolving? Uh, we're going to continue to extend the integration. So um, it's taken a while for us to get this platform set up, unfortunately, but we're there. We're here. Um, and uh, we see not only new integrations, but the integrations we have improving. So for example, T-Sheets, we'll show you in a minute. Um, the integration with IPM, we, we launched it just a few months ago. We saw some opportunities to improve it. And next week, we'll have some improvements. So um, we're just going to continue to evolve the integrations and making them um, stronger and, and better, but also extending to additional partners. And um, what, what I love about this is we're not prescriptive, right? So you can plug in uh, uh, multiple different types of apps if you want, and we're not forcing you to, to, to work a certain way. Where, you know, others, if you, you talk about suite of products for some other of our competitors, it's very prescriptive um, and not very flexible. So um, we're evolving in, in two ways. We're going to continue to improve the integrations we have and extend them and bring on more partners. You know, it, it, I love this so much because Liz and I had an opportunity to go with Intuit Developer um, over to the UK. We also had uh, the, um, you know, the, the opportunity to work with Intuit Developer during the hackathons and, and see some of the magic happen when you see developers with different apps working together um, to make really solid uh, integrations through these partnerships. So you just, when you've got, you know, when you have the communication going between two app developers, you're going to have a stronger product on yeah. both sides, right? Definitely. And a better and customer experience. No doubt. And different perspectives, right? Like I said, I've been really focused on tax and accounting. Uh, but, you know, Carbon, for example, they've been honing workflow for the past five years. So um, they bring a different perspective and together, not just the integration, but better ideas. Yeah. Absolutely. Liz, what's our next question? It is right there. Oh, there it is. Nice. Success story. So again, we've only been live for a few months, but um, there's been really some compelling uh, quotes and as we, as we go to the firms and, and watch them, um, you know, a lot of feedback we're getting is it's reduced their anxiety. Um, they feel like now they can focus more on their work and not managing their work because we're providing those integrations that bring things together. So um, uh, they, they're really surprised about how much time they've been losing and stressing uh, around keeping everything together and in sync. Um, so it, uh, it's very, it, it motivates our team to hear those things. And, and just being a few months out there, um, we're, we're hearing it a pretty predominantly from all the firms that are starting to come on board that um, it's not only saving them time, but it's, it's reducing stress. Definitely. And I, I'd like to chime in on the success story because I think that I am one. So I mentioned <laughs> that I have a bookkeeping and tax firm back office ally and we implemented uh, Intuit practice management over the summer and we love it. So we have, we're small, um, there's four of us, but it, we went through, you know, our, our July 15th deadline. Um, our clients loved the experience. Everybody knew where everything was. Um, I love, we used uh, ProConnect Tax Online for our tax, and we use QuickBooks Online Accountant for the bookkeeping. And the seamlessness of having the data come in from T-Sheets into, uh, into IPM, having the tax return statuses and the e-file statuses coming into IPM um, was amazing. Um, you know, we were able to go ahead and set up our templates for our new clients. So as we're onboarding new clients, we use Practice Ignition and the Practice Ignition has a beautiful uh, integration with IPM. So everything's speaking to each other in a really seamless way. And, and you know, the experience that I had with your team when we were, you know, getting set up and with the training um, was amazing. So they really took their time. Um, I worked with Monica and she was fantastic. Um, so, you know, we've had a really positive experience. Um, Love hearing that. That's great. Very happy. You're making me a little jelly, Heather. Like, I think <laughs> I might have to go do it too. <laughs> okay. No, we're in this. <laughs> yeah, 
it's, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. Um, you know, the clients enjoy, you know, they're really liking it because they get that email when we request items from them. All they have to do is click on it, enter their pin in and give us what we need. Um, yeah, really, really, it's been, it's been a huge success for us. So thank you. That's fantastic news. Here. Well, that's what we, you know, we want to hear is, is all about success stories because goodness knows it's hard to try everything. So what we're doing is sharing the good successes so that way our peers can have them too. So thanks for sharing that, Heather. Thank you, Heather. So what challenges have you run into? And I think that this one could probably be, you know, ever ending because we're talking about all those leaks. And that would just be the first one that I would say is that we all have different needs, so different data needs to come over, and then probably all kinds of, of mapping issues. So what, what else are you running into as a challenge? Yeah, you're, you're right. And unfortunately, it's taken us a while to get here, but early on when we were doing this and some of the um, um, more, I guess, progressive, quote unquote, um, accounts that were starting on board, you know, we had data issues. Uh, we learned a lot from it. Um, and it's, it's provided us a way to re-architect this into a way that it's easier to set up. You're not gonna have to worry about uh, duplicating data and, and so on and so forth. So a um, lot of learning on how to, how to do this right. We've also learned that, you know, we didn't, we didn't need a super tight integration with all these things. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about why, what, how we're, our principles for how we're integrating. But um, just the key information that needs to be shared across is, is enough and saves enough time. And it makes the complexity uh, much uh, less for you to get set up and then for, to ensure that you don't have any issues. So I, I will admit we've, we had issues early on. I've been on this journey for five years uh, in other forms or fashion, um, but we feel really good at where we're at today because of, of how we've implemented it. And so far so good the first few months, but um, this has been in the making because uh, as you know, QuickBooks has a app store and we're, we're essentially leveraging these capabilities that have been built for into it and just extending them for tax. So um, years and years of learnings. Um, and unfortunately there was some hiccups, but feel really good where we're at right now. And Jeremy, is there anything you want to add on IPM, what we've learned specifically? Yeah, it's kind of um, been interesting. You know, the challenges that you mentioned, those are definitely, I think, some of the expected challenges, but some of the surprises were, uh, we had a lot of internal things we just had to overcome because, you know, obviously our core is tax and we do that really well. Um, and practice management is something that's very different than tax. And so having to kind of have that mentality shift internally with the different teams, um, like the sales team and the care team, and the onboarding team of we're, we're helping our you know customers and our partners change the way they're doing business. It's, it's not just that they're choosing a, a new application to use, they're really changing how they're doing their, their practice management and running things. And so it was a bit of a, a challenge to kind of get that um, mindset rolling throughout all of the internal teams. Um, and I think we've gone a long way there and just seeing the, the success and the maturity of the teams over time over the last few months has been fantastic. And, you know, like, Heather mentioned the onboarding team, like they were able to come on and do something, you know, doing this was totally new from anything we've done in the past with within our group. And uh, I think that they've done fantastic with it, but it was certainly a, a challenge to get there. <laughs> and uh, I'm really glad that we're seeing the success of that um, now, of all of that hard work come to fruition. Well, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? That's the saying. Exactly. <laughs> So we're glad that you're working hard at it. And we're, and you know, talking about getting all of the teams together, that's the whole buy-in part. And I, I feel like that's where the success is valuable because then you also get buy-in in the community. So your efforts are rewarded. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I love this. All right, so what is better together accomplished? Look at all these connections. So if we look at, you know, our ecosystem and QuickBooks being in the center of it, we can see all of these different apps that are directly connected and integrated really tightly. And so all of this takes a lot of work. So um, T-Sheets integrated 
perfectly and seamlessly with QuickBooks. So, you know, I've got a client who can go over and they can map their time and import it directly into QuickBooks and they can even do things with contractors now. So time can be mapped for contractors, not just employees. And you've got the ability to make sure that you've got, you know, all of your, your tracking happening and your reporting and projects that flow in together nicely. And so those project reports that tell us profitability really, really are heavily dependent on time for employees. And so it's really invaluable that that T-Sheets integration exists. And then Heather, you wanna to talk to some of these other ones that are here? Sure, I mean, we have uh, the integration with QuickBooks Online Advance with Bill.com and then for your other QuickBooks Online SKUs, we've got Melio, who was on our show uh, last month. Um, I actually love Melio. Um, it has a real ni really nice uh, integration with QuickBooks Online and it handles the bill pay side of things. Um, and it's very affordable for every type of business. So um, that's been that's been something that people have really wanted. I can't tell you how many times, you know, I've been training a client or showing them QuickBooks Online and they ask, well, can you pay bills from within QuickBooks Online? Right. And um, so now you can, and it's actually really easy to do. It's, you know, it's fantastic. Uh, as far as ProConnect Tax Online, it's really evolved over the last couple of years. First, we had the trial balance tool, which allowed us to map the general ledger accounts to the tax lines inside our ProConnect Tax Online uh, tax software. Now we have the prep for taxes, which has taken it to the next level and made it a really, really nice streamlined user experience. Um, so, you know, you can tie out your books, make your tax adjustments, and then click a button and it will send all of those balances right on over to the tax return. Um, you make, you know, some simple adjustments uh, and, and you're ready to file. And now with the integration, um, and you have the, a similar um, we have the integration now with, uh, with Intuit Practice Management, which is powered by Carbon, that uh, has the tax return information in it. So when you go into a client uh, contact, you can actually see the tax return information um, and you can you know, track the work that your team is doing so you can you know, get a good overview of where your firm is um, in tax season. And all of this information is speaking to each other and updating automatically. So the customer in T-Sheets or the, the client in T-Sheets is the customer in QuickBooks, you know, is the client in uh, Intuit Practice Management. And then you start to add on other apps like Practice Ignition uh, or Go Proposal that do, you know, the sales piece of it, right? And the billing piece of it. Um, and now you've got a whole suite that's talking to each other in a really, really, you know, awesome way. And then of course we've got Zapier over there and Zapier's there to basically connect it all to everything else that we're using, right? So um, it's fantastic. It's fantastic and it's exciting to see it evolve. Um, you know, having been, and for all of you that are on the call that have been using QuickBooks Online and the cloud applications from Intuit over the years, this is exciting stuff. This is what we've been, waiting for and it's just it's so cool to see it all coming together um, in such a beautiful way lots of partnerships happening lots and lots of partnerships so we have some excited people who are ready to see demos so yes. i am going to say without further ado let's toast to all of this hard work yes and oh my gosh so we always let people have say in the drinks or help create the drinks this one cracks me up so drum roll <laughs> here it is better together intuity intuity and if you're wondering yes it has every single alcohol imaginable inside better it. together right mm -hmm, it is and i don't know about you but it's like there's so much in here that it has started to melt the ice quite rapidly and i mm -hmm. i think that that's it's a good thing it's in a glass and not a styrofoam cup <laughs> so we're only allowed to take one tiny sip of this guys because otherwise there will not be a demo because we'll all be laying on the floors in our office and everyone will be wondering where we are so <laughs> you can only have one sip until after the webinar is over and then you can finish your drink why is it so tasty i don't know i don't <laughs> understand why long island iced tea is so good but it is our intuitive oh, tea is love it it's yum yum. Okay, so I am going to say at this point, 
Brady, do you want me to go ahead and pass the presenter over to you, or do you want me to just click as you tell me to? You can click through, and then we'll get to the demo. So I'll just get through these as okay. soon as possible so we can get right to the product. So, um, all right, so we're just going to be going over transformation through connections, kind of reiterate what we've, we've talked about. Um, so if we go to the next slide. So this is our mission uh, for, for my team. Um, we're looking to solve um, pros needs through the, we're calling it orchestration because we just don't want these uh, connections, right? We want it to all work together. So that's why we use the term orchestration. And then it's not just with third parties. We obviously got to make our into products work well together. Like we were talking around T-sheets, QuickBooks, uh, tax, payroll, all of that. And so that's our mission is to continue to evolve that and add to it. And if you go to the next slide, please. And the problem that we're trying to solve, um, so this is just uh, to ground everyone. When we have big initiatives, we, all, we have to articulate the problem and what we want the ideal state to be. So that's something our team always is grounded on. So that's why I wanted to go that with you. So, um, so I'm accounting tax professional trying to provide customers with high quality service at scale and speed. But you have multiple disconnected products and tools the firm has to keep in sync. Um, because none of the products work together seamlessly, um, which makes for many inefficiencies and irritations, as I've seen in many firms that I've, I've visited. Ideally, if you could go to the next slide, please. Uh, you can spend more time on, the, on doing your work and more focus on your work and less time trying to manage that work. And the biggest benefit is the automation and real-time visibility into what's going on. So bringing in where you work um, with where you manage your work. So you don't have to continuously shuffle between those two areas, which we're, we're working towards giving you more confidence and obviously efficiencies. And if you could go to the next slide, please. Uh, and this is a, a different visual depiction of what uh, Liz showed and Heather showed earlier, but this is the tax lens. So this is where we're at right now. So we do have the platform, but we do have QuickBooks talking to uh, into a practice management, talking to ProConnect Tax, talking to Practice Ignition. We have DocuSign. Um, so this is available right now. So that's why we're, we're excited because we don't just have um, slides to talk about it. We actually have this in, in uh, our pros hands using it and uh, getting a lot of benefit out of it. And if you could go to the next slide. And so just, uh, I talked about this earlier, What's hurt us in the past is these deep integrations and, and trying to make it so a little bit too complex. So we're just making sure that we can connect these products. So linking the accounts, syncing relevant information like context, contacts like Heather was talking about, making it easy for you to navigate between those as well. So we want to make sure everything, the cord's connected, it's a nice seamless navigation, and then servicing relevant information. So for example, for tax, we surface the status of the e-signature, tax return status, e-file status. So as you're doing the job, you can see how the work's pro progressing. And, and that's what we've researched that, that appears to be enough for you to get a good idea of what's going on with, with the tax piece of it. So connecting the core, making it easy for you to navigate and servicing, surfacing relevant information. And then with that, I'll turn it over to Jeremy to get into the demo. Uh, I think you have the ability to share your screen now. I believe I do, just pulling it up here. All right, and you guys should be looking at my triage screen here, right? That's Excellent. great. Alrighty, um, so we're definitely gonna do a demo of practice management. I'm actually gonna be a little crazy and show five different apps today um, and how they all work together. And I'm gonna do it pretty quickly, but I will focus a lot on the IPM section. Um, so we mentioned practice ignition. I'm just gonna start here because this is a very common place you're gonna be starting if you have a new client or a new engagement with a client. Um, and so I'm gonna create a new proposal through practice ignition and get this created and actually, you know, show how this will flow from kind of start to end um, of the life cycle of this piece of work. So we're going to do this for Bill's Windsurf shop and we're going to grab some accounting services. Uh, we're going to be doing his basic accounting services and that's all we're going to put in there for now. Um, so I've created the proposal. I'm going to skip ahead and, you know, normally you would send this to the client, you're going to accept it and you'll get all of that workflow through. I'm just going to accept it on the client's behalf for the sake of brevity. And you can see here it's been uh, made active and my proposal has been accepted. 
So with that, I'm going to pop over to Intuit Practice Management. Um, when you first land here, you do normally come into your triage. Uh, the way that IPM works is it sits on top of your email. So uh, if you're, instead of going to like your normal email client every day, you can just come to your triage window and it's gonna have all of your um, incoming mail here and you'll be able to do a lot of different things with it. It's gonna help kind of you deal with that email and manage it. And that's where a lot of the time savings comes in because you're no longer dealing with your email inbox. Um, you're really dealing just with the triage and it's gonna surface the things that are important and need to be dealt with right away. Uh, and allow you to act on them. So if you have something that comes in and you need to act on it or someone on your team needs to act on it, it's really easy to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna come back to this in just a minute and show you what I mean by that. But first I want to pull up Bill's Windsor shop here. Now Bill was already a client, so he existed here already, but if he didn't, you can actually see back in July, he was created from practice ignition. So when he became a client in July, um, we added him in practice ignition and he created, uh, it created a client in into a practice management for us automatically. We didn't need to do anything additional for that. And if I come over here to work, I can see I now have this accounting monthly accounting. Uh, this is the work that was just created by the proposal. You can see here just one minute ago that came in and my task list is all already here. Um, everything that I'm going to need to do in order to actually perform the work for uh, Bill's Windsor shop is already here and ready to go. Uh, and that's great. And so you can also see one of the things I might need to do is track time on this. Um, now this is where I'm going to show you this as being a bit of a manual process and partly because it's about to go away and become an automated process. Um, but if I want to track time on this, I can do that today through my integration with T-Sheets, uh, no problem. Um, but I do hit a roadblock of where if I'm trying to then bill on that, uh, I'm going to have to do a manual step to make that work. And this is actually something I'm going to pop in QBOA real quick and create this as a new, a new job here. Um, this is something that's going away pretty soon. T-Sheets is actually introducing a bi-directional uh, sync with QBO. So if you create a project in T-Sheets, it will automatically create the sub customer project for you in QuickBooks. And you no longer have to manually do this stuff if you want it to tie through. So uh, that was the extent of what I had to do for this to work. Um, but once I've done that, it's set up and ready to go. Um, but very soon, that is actually going to be an automated step. So if I come in here, I'll show you guys. I can then add my time say I do an hour. Uh, this is billable work. Um, it is going to be monthly bookkeeping. We'll go ahead and save it. So you can see here, I now have my time added uh, September 8th for monthly bookkeeping. So this actually syncs with T-Sheets. Um, and then in T-Sheets, I would be able to go in and see this time. And it's actually going to show up if I come and look at my uh, time entries you'll be able to see Jeremy Herbal, that's me. I just entered an hour for Bill's Windsurf, windsurf Shop, uh, Accounting Monthly Bookkeeping, and there it is. And if I come over here into my QBO, let's say I don't even wanna log into T-Sheets to manage this, I just wanna do everything through my QuickBooks. Um, I have that here as well, I can come in, I see me, I see who the customer is, it's the Bill's Windsurf Shop, it's the accounting monthly accounting job that I'm doing. And there's my hour and my service that it is. So you can see, um, you know, pretty easily all of that tied together from the, the creation of uh, the proposal and practice ignition to that creating work in IPM. Um, it would have created the client in IPM if it hadn't already existed. I was able to very easily on that brand new piece of work, um, you know, set this up as a job in QuickBooks. So I'll be able to invoice against this particular job um, and track time against it. And even go as far as like, I could approve this time, send out an invoice against this time, and it would be against this particular job. Um, so all of that was done just real time right now. Uh, so that's why this is really exciting is that this all works together um, pretty well. And uh, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, so coming back over to, to practice management, just to focus a bit more on it. 
Um, on the triage, I mentioned you can do a lot of work here. So let's take a look at Jenny's email here. She emailed me, you know, Jeremy, uh, early reminder, she has some stuff she needs me to do. This is great. You know, she's sent me some files. Um, maybe she has questions with it. I have a few options of what I can do with this email. Uh, I can assign it to a colleague to have someone else deal with it. I can assign it to my own to-do list. Um, I could just clear it from triage. Let's say this was just an update for me and I don't need to take any action for, from this. I could just clear it. Uh, but in this particular case, um, there's some work that's going to need to be done with this. So I can actually add this to a piece of work and I can either add this to an existing piece of work or I can create work for it. And this is going to be related to her uh, tax. So I'll just say Jenny's tax. Um, you know what? We'll use a template. And so this way it's actually going to let me pick out one of my existing templates and all of the work that is going to need to be done is already laid out in this template for me. Um, this is for Ginny Wilkins. And I can go ahead and, and just create that, uh, put specific people on it later. And there we go. I now will have this piece of work. Uh, what's great is that I've associated this with Ginny. So if I go to Ginny's contact list, I'll be able to see this information here. Um, you can see I have this email. This was uh, just a bit ago. It came in two hours ago. So it shows up as being from her. Uh, if I come over to this work, uh, she might have a few pieces of work here, but I have Jenny's tax. Um, this is the one I just created. Uh, it came in two hours ago, you can see. So this email is now visible on the piece of work. Um, it's visible on the contact. Any of my coworkers who have access to this piece of work, like if I assigned this to Brady, um, Brady would be able to come in here and have access to this email, have access to the files, anything that is gonna need to get done. Uh, you can come over here and see this, who the client is, who's working on it, um, who my different people are associated with it. So, you know, Dean's the owner of this client. So uh, Dean's gonna be able to come in here and see this work, see the progress that's getting made on it. And those files that were attached to her email, they're visible right here. So if I'm doing this work, I have quick and easy access to those files um, that were associated with it. Coming back up here, I did mention this is a tax return. So I have this uh, tax return tab. This is part of the integration with our ProConnect uh, or LACERT. And I have the ability to either create a return or link it to an existing return. So this could be, I've uh, already started Ginny's return in ProConnect Tax Online, and I just need to link this work up so I have that option. Or it could be I have not started Ginny's work yet, and I need to go ahead and create it. And so uh, it's going to let me know if the if it's not already in ProConnect. Um, it's going to go and create the client in ProConnect, and I need to pick the tax year. So it's a 2019 and I needed to do something different on that, but um, I would be able to pull it up. And I actually was gonna pop over to someone else's real quick and show you one of the nice things is what you get on that tax return tab with an existing return is a lot of useful information. Um, so I'm gonna pull up Andrew, because I know Andrew has some work here. On his tax return tab, you can see this one is linked over. I have his tax return status. Um, so this is the custom return status from the tax product. It's going to be visible here. So I can see it says refer to notes. Uh, then down here, I can see this has been e-filed. And I can see with which agency it's been e-filed, what type of filing it was, and the status, as well as when it was done. So I'm, without having to go to my tax product, able to see that this particular return was e-filed successfully on April 24th. Um, this means anyone who has access to this work item. Uh, so if I'm not uh, here to deal with it, or if you know my admin is answering the phone, taking a lot of these questions, what's going on with my status, um, they don't have to have access to the tax program. They just need access to practice management. They'd be able to come in here and see, oh, you know what? Yep, it was successfully filed. Uh, we have the confirmation. If you're using e-signature through the tax product, so with our DocuSign partnership, uh, that e-signature will, will show up here as well. So you'll be able to see that you've requested an e-signature. You'll be able to see if it was um, successfully signed or not and whether or not it's still pending. 
the last piece you're going to get from here is you can actually click the open and ProConnect link and it's going to take you straight into ProConnect. Um, so I said I was hitting five apps in my demo. This is the fifth. Uh, so you can actually go straight from practice management, click link, land right in the tax return uh, that you're working on. So if you are you know, working on return, um, you can just see what, what's in my to do today on your practice management list. If you have a return, you open it up in IPM, you can click a button, you're straight into the, the return that you're gonna be working on. Uh, so that seamless navigation just between the, the different products is really what we're, we've been going for. The other nice thing about having this return status flow through to IPM is on the work tab. So the work tab is great. This is kind of gonna be your dashboard. It, uh, is really my preference for looking at work and practice management because I like the, the board and viewing it this way. I can see the different columns of, you know, ready to start, ready for tax, in progress, et cetera. Uh, I'm able to move these really easily. So if I'm moving this from ready to start to ready to tax, I just click and drag it out over. Uh, this is also really good because I have this set up to just show my work right now, but I can change that filter and have it show everyone's work. So if I'm managing a firm and I want to see what everyone is working on, I can come here and in one place, see what everyone is working on. And pretty easily I can switch it between status to let's say the assignee and I'll be able to see who is working on what and what their workload is. So this is really great because I'm able to see, you know, Ben has 20 open items right now. Amy has 10 open items right now. If Ben comes to me and tells me he's overloaded. I know that Amy might be able to pick up some of that work without having to do a lot of digging. It's really obvious what's going on, who's doing what. I can see the status of all of the different work items um, and it gives me a lot of visibility into what's happening. Now I mentioned the tax return status being really neat and that's because I can actually filter on that. So on my dashboard in IPM, I'm able to come here and filter on the tax returns uh, based on the tax return status that's in the tax product. So if I'm using ProConnect or LACERT, I have this capability where I can come in and just filter um, my IPM work based on the tax return status without having to go into the tax product at all in order to see what that status is or even be able to filter on what that status is. And so We've, we've heard that this is a really neat thing because you're able to gain that visibility into what's going on in the tax product without having to actually go into the tax product. Um, and this is especially useful if you're managing a lot of different people or if you have someone who uh, doesn't necessarily need access to the tax product to that tax information because what's getting surfaced here is not sensitive information, it's just the status. Um, this is a lot easier to have that visibility into. Going back real quick to the triage, one of the things I'd like to point out is um, once I've taken care of this, so I've uh, assigned this to a piece of work. Um, let's say that this is something I'm going to need some help on though. I'm going to go ahead and at mention uh, Brady on here and let him know uh, he needs to take a look at this and post that. Now Brady is going to get a notification in his triage that I've commented um, to him here. And what's nice is that Jenny doesn't see this. So all of this communication, he could respond to this. We can go back and forth. We can pull in other people. Um, and Jenny doesn't see any of that. But if I needed to, I could then reply to Jenny. And from here, I would still have access to everything that uh, had happened. So all of that internal discussion that happened between me and my colleagues is visible here to me. But when I reply back to my customer or my client, I don't have uh, to worry about accidentally, you know, sending the wrong email and getting the internal in there. I don't have to forward this email to Brady to say, can you take a look at this? As soon as I comment uh, to him on this email, he's going to have visibility into this email if he didn't already, and he'll be able to see it. So he'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and again, if I'm replying to Jenny, you know, we'll, uh, this is going to show up as well. And so Brady then again would have access to this entire thread so he can stay up to, uh, uh, up to speed on what's going on with this client or with this email chain 
uh, without actually having to be involved in the email chain itself. So this is really useful if you have someone who's dealing with the client is kind of that interaction between you and the client, but other people are needing to assist you, um, but you're maintaining that single face to the client. This can be really helpful in those situations because then you're getting that discussion, it's in one place and you don't have to you know, worry about copying different people in on that email. And once this is taken care of, I can just clear it and it's gone from my triage. I don't have to worry about that anymore. If Jenny responds on that same thread, it'll show back up here. I'll be able to see it again. But for now, I know it's done. I can take care of it and I can get on to the next thing. And with that, I think I might uh, go ahead and turn it back over unless there's anything specific uh, that you guys like me to show. I, I want to oh, tell this. I want to tell you showing five apps was absolutely beautiful. We were able to see the integrations back and forth. So you nailed it. I, and thank you because I think that that was what we needed to see. We need to see the fluidity of all of these different integrations. Yeah, and that's, I mean, just going back to one of your interview questions, this is what I'm excited about, is being able to show, like, this was all, this wasn't pre-recorded, like, real time, this is how this can work for you and your firm. <laughs> like, you can have everything talking to each other, and that's just really exciting when all of this just works. Um, and I'm, I'm really thrilled about what this does and just what more is coming with it. it, it it's fantastic. I mean, when you were showing the, um, the, uh, the work tab, um, when I have my partner meetings with my partner, it's great because we can actually save those views. So we have different views based on the, you know, how we kind of view the, what's happening in our firm. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really easy to switch between them. So as you're filtering, you just save the view and then it's just a drop down menu. And that's something that's really um, useful to us. So yeah, love that. I th I'm appreciative that you were brave enough to show five apps. <laughs> well done. Very successful. And, and I would say, I mean, my firm is using all five of those apps and it, it really does work as seamlessly as, as they're showing. So um, we're, we're digging it a lot. So that's fantastic. You know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm using several of those. So, um, and Carbon, gosh, it's just got so many amazing features and the way that you've integrated into, into press management. This, this is fantastic. And I love that you were showing that you can call people out and you can tag things and you can request things all in one place. So I'm yeah. very appreciative of that. And Heather, do you want to launch the poll? Because it feels oh, yeah, like definitely. there's interest here. And so we want to make sure definitely. that people who are interested get... Uh, the resources and that they need to go further with it. You know, the, the other, um, the other thing that I would say is those templates are fantastic. So, you know, one of the, I think most time consuming things for firms is building those templates out, right? Trying to figure out what the steps are for each, you know, work item in a firm. And so the fact that you already have all those pre-built templates for the tax returns, for audits, for bookkeeping, all of that's already there. And then what we were able to do is use those as the, as the, you know, the frame, the framework, and then we customize them per client. And then when you have clients that are in kind of a group, uh, you can just start to scale them out and save them as a new template and then scale them out to other clients. So I love, and Stacy too, Stacy's loving the templates as well. And I've created new templates as well, just for the sales process, things that are specific to my firm. I love the fact that I'm able to, you know, set up automations for emails that go to my prospects, um, you know, and then I use some Zapier in there to have uh, those other <laughs> things. But um, it's fantastic. Um, really happy with that. One of the, the neat things with that is a customer I was talking with, he really loved it because he went through and set up the templates. And like you said, you can have your base template for like a tax return. And yep. then you might have different things you need to do for different clients. Um, and so for each client, he makes his little notes on their template. And then when it recurs, those notes are still there. Like they are. if he yeah. needs to do an extra step, they're still there. And he really liked it because he was able to hand a lot of work off to other people. And he did it last year. And this year he hands it off to someone else and everything that they need to do is right there. He doesn't have to tell them, oh, on this client, make sure you do this particular thing. It's, it's already there. Um, and if you put attachments in, those can carry over too. 
Exactly. So if you add, you know, or, or even a Loom video, you could take a Loom video and put the link to it right inside your work so your team can watch a little instruction video if necessary. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can supercharge. I mean, it's already amazing, but there's, there's also little secrets that you can supercharge um, your experience as well. So we have a ton of interest um, and we also have quite a few uh, existing IPM users. So that's fantastic too. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you, I'm going to count you guys down for the poll. Um, and uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and send the poll results uh, onto uh, the Intuit team and they'll have someone reach out to you. So five, four, three, two, and what I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and I'll forward along the yeses and the existing customer list onto you guys a, bit, a little bit later. Yay, does that mean that Yay. we're getting ready to show our coolest thing that we have found this week? Yes, yes, so this one was one that I found and I shared with Liz this week. Um, and it's actually a company that we actually have used for Appy Hour for our lovely stickers that we hand out at conferences. Yeah. Um, but they have this really cool free tool. You have to set up an account to get it, but it's really awesome. Well, let me show it because let's, let's let people in on what we're talking about. So Sticker Mule has got this ability to... You know, Sticker Mule is, is um, you can go in and you make different stickers with logos and stuff like that. So one of the things I do for a, a client gift is I will, for all of my clients, when they come on board, I send them a package of stickers. And so I use Sticker Mule to do that. So here's an example. I've got my little pack of stickers that I'm sending off to my client and they can either hand that off in the store. They can, you know, stick it on stuff whenever they go to service calls, whatever. They have stickers. So Heather showed me this cool thing with this app that we're already using. So ditching the duct tape here still too, yep. is you can remove backgrounds. And so the idea here is if you had a logo that had a background, you could remove it. Or if you had a photo, you could log in and you could remove it there too. So, um, so it's trace. So it's by sticker mule and you upload your photo and I'm just going to show you some fun stuff that I did. So I grabbed a photo cause I was like, Hey, here it is. And I uploaded it, and then you can see it took the background out of that photo. Well, everybody knows I'm a Harry Potter fan, so I thought, well, it, wouldn't it be fun if I stuck us in Harry Potter world? So Heather and I, we went virtually to Harry Potter world. But you can search all kinds of backgrounds, and then you could also be, you know, somebody who decided, hey, I wanted to make a sticker out of this. Or you could go, okay, that was fun to go to Harry Potter world, but I'm gonna use this for advertising and marketing. So you can take that same sticker and you could maybe send it out on a newsletter. And so here's my, my picture that I cropped and edited and then stuck it on an advertisement saying, hey, join us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and YouTube, and our website. And so it's super fun to go over and check that out live. And it's free. It's totally free. So here it is. I'm on the website, upload my photo, come over and grab one. This is how easy it is. I'm just kind of showing you. Comes through in a matter of seconds, takes that background out, and then you suddenly have a photo that you're able to use for all different kinds of dig digital marketing. So very, very fun. You can do the backgrounds like I did where I was changing my backgrounds and put it in a fun location or, you know, see, look here. Or I can just say, nope, I like it as is, no background, and now I can download it. That's it. Super cool. Can super, you paste cool. the URL and actually I'll paste the URL in chat and on uh, Facebook here. I'll do that in chat. And then I will also, let me move those down. Did you get that in chat, Heather? Uh, Otherwise I got it. I just I got it. it in chat. I'm doing it right now. Okay, cool. All there right. So then I will go ahead and say, thank you for being with us today. We love all of our viewers. You're our friends. So you know, virtual hugs to you all since we're not seeing you in person at conferences, but thank you for joining us because this keeps us all together, it keeps us connected, and we get to stay up to date. And so we also want to say thank you to Brady and Jeremy and to Leslie, who's in the background answering yes. questions for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, yes. It's been our pleasure to see all of the things that are coming, removing that di duct tape, ditched it, yeah, and now we have duct, duct tape. Yeah, big time. And now we have these seamless integrations that really feel like the future. Absolutely. 
so don't forget to go and connect with us. It's the Happy Hour Lounge in Facebook. And then also uh, make sure that you're registered for Zoom. If you're joining us on Facebook Live, if you join in Zoom, you get to participate in all of the fun conversations and ask questions live. And then also we have the upcoming episode talking about Transaction Pro. They also have a new dashboard that they want to show us and um, be able to join us on September 22nd for that. And then we have some really cool uh, other episodes coming up. Fathom Reporting, a lot of us are using Fathom, kind of. And so they're going to be here to show us some other features that maybe we're just not aware of. And then Sync to Connect for QuickBooks. This is another e-commerce tool that's going to be pulling in information from these various uh, sales channels into QuickBooks. And then also in November, we're going to have ADP on and they're going to talk about benefits and retirement. Like that sounds like a very fun conversation. <laughs> so thank you to our sponsors today. Thanks so much, guys. I love having you guys on. I'm so excited about the direction that Intuit is going with all of this, uh, this integration. And I can't wait to see um, the future. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. Thanks Bye, for everyone. joining us today. Yes, thanks.